everybody, we have a shelf. Very exciting news. Not decorated yet. Also, it's not secured. It may fall on us. But the shelf finally arrived. So exciting. To celebrate, I feel like I need to give. So I'm going to give a renovation to the iconic pancake family from a Sims 4 base game, Willow Creek. I just, I feel like they really need some help. Now, if you're unaware of who the pancakes are, this is their house. And it consists of Bob here, whose dream is to be a master chef. He's gloomy, he's a slob, and a loner. And then he's married to Eliza Pancakes, who conversely wants to be a mansion baron. So she's materialistic, neat, and a perfectionist. So they're total opposites. And it's so sad. So this side of the house is Eliza's massive pink bedroom. Also, this is just upsetting to me that not only is it on an angle, but it's out from the wall. And I don't know what she's planning on doing here, like chilling out with her lamp in the middle. And then Bob's in this room over here and he has like this weight station, even though he's a slob. Um, so I don't know if Eliza got that to like motivate him or something and like a woodworking table. He's got like the saddest side table as well and this like kid's bedroom light. It's just, it's just a sad situation. Not to mention the house. You know, it's not that bad for a base game house. Like it's actually pretty good, but it just needs to be freshened up. I'm really not a big fan of this huge staircase that as soon as you walk in the door, it's like, bam. <laughs> So yeah, I just want to, you know, give their house a makeover. Maybe it's their last try, you know, at their marriage to just see if they can freshen up the house. You know, they can still even have separate bedrooms. I don't actually think separate bedrooms is such a bad thing anyway. Like there's not really anything wrong with separate bedrooms. And I mean, clearly these guys want some space, but maybe just a more inspiring environment will just help them get back on track, you know? Now, when we renovate existing houses in the game, we've been doing this for Willow Creek and a couple of Oasis Springs. We've only been using the existing family funds and any of this furniture that we can sell. Also, love how they did this. This was really cool. So I'm just trying to get as much money as I can together. And you know what? What the heck? The plates are so far down on the wall. Let's we can get as much money as we can. And then hopefully we'll be able to change this house. I definitely do want to change this staircase because this staircase has been something that has always bothered me. It just seems so severe. And then that probably means that we'll need to change the entire upper floor here. Because there is so much room upstairs, I wonder if we could maybe open this up so we can actually have like a nice double height entrance. The only thing is because this old bathroom sits at the front here, that actually might not work. So what would actually have to happen is one of these balconies have a way to get into this front room instead, which could work because this already has a full wall here. So we could actually push this to the front and it not actually look too bad at all. You know what? Also, the other thing I wasn't into with this house is this front bit. Like, we could even pull the roofing over to the side like this. Maybe even pull this over? Is that too crazy? I mean, I think with the right columns, this would look quite good. The house also desperately needs, like, a nice new fresh paint color. My vote is to either do, like, a dark blue or a white. Well, the other option is we bring this roof line over to here. We actually extend the balcony to here. I really want to put in just some straight white pillars that kind of match the trims on this existing wallpaper. Ooh, nice. And I'm thinking either something like this, very like kind of, oops, basic fencing, just like this. Oh, this lighting isn't great, is it? Or cats and dogs, a little bit of the Hamptons vibe like this, which that is actually really cute, but I feel like less is more in this case. You can put a beautiful front door like that here. Also, the bird bath at the front is a little random, isn't it? It's kind of crazy that their house is worth over 100,000 simoleons. I didn't think they were that high up in their careers. There's a lot of family, family money in The Sims. Ugh, I 
I'm just so satisfied that we are freshening this home up again. Might do like a nice little awning situation here too. Ah, beautiful. See, that's enough to save a, ma a marriage. Just some nice flowers. I thought there was like a stripey version of this umbrella and if there's a, oh, maybe it was this one, like blue and white stripes. Oh, is it this one? Cause oh, the black and white stripes is a bit of fun. Here we go, this one. Or maybe the yellow umbrella, that'll cheer them up. If we get rid of the double height ceiling here, which was my initial idea, the reason why is because I actually don't think there's enough room on either side of it to build the bedrooms and have enough space in them. So if we close that up, we're like, okay, let's just turn this into some kind of lounge room, some corner lounge room. So this could be just like really nice, really spacious that kind of a thing. Then we have like an office down here. Then we would need to have kitchen and dining and hopefully a bathroom over here. Cause one of the problems with the original house was that you had to go upstairs to the bathroom, which isn't the most practical thing. So let's just put in some placement chairs here. Then we still have an issue of where is the staircase going to go? Maybe the staircase could go here, kitchen here and bathroom behind it. Although that, doesn't seem quite right, does it? God, you guys, this is so hard. Oh, this is so weird. The windows have snapped to the staircase. Or oh, the staircase goes back into the lounge room. This remains a dining area and kitchen. I mean, I reckon the kitchen needs to go in this pocket up the back because it's always so nice looking out to the backyard from a kitchen. So let's just say kitchen was something like this. And then you have like your kitchen island here. Just roughly speaking dining here or could we change where the door is if the door went straight into the dining room i mean this is kind of crazy so then it would look like this i mean it still definitely works but then i feel like we're kind of cheating because i feel like we've just changed the house too much god this might be our hardest renovation yet oh i'm really struggling think deli think okay we put this staircase just back a little bit we still have this big lounge room we still can have this as an office area or potentially a bathroom we could even extend this whole balcony downstairs and get some like big eco bifold doors down here so it's really nice and bright that's actually really really pretty i mean why is this garden so restricted we may as well open it up a bit they have all the room Okay, this backyard space is so much nicer and bigger and just more generous. And you know, we can keep Eliza's pretty tulip outdoor lights. That's fine, Eliza, we'll keep those for you. We don't wanna strip her of her style, but there does need to be a little bit of Bob as well, I feel, if this marriage is going to work. We really need to get a bathroom downstairs. <laughs> Maybe we can squeeze a little toilet and basin area here, but then it does make this kitchen quite small. I can see the problem they ran into in this build <laughs> and why they made the floor plan the way it is. I also don't want to ruin these like beautiful symmetrical windows because if you just like whack one there, that's going to make, you know what, the bathroom can't be on this side. This is probably going to have to be a bathroom. It's that or a smaller kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna put the bathroom here because I know if I put it over here, most of you guys won't like the fact that these windows look straight into it, which is definitely fair enough. And this is still gonna be a pretty sizable kitchen as well. I really think it would be beautiful to put like a big window here. I love big windows in kitchens. I really love long, narrow ones. But unfortunately, the game doesn't really have what I want. I mean, this is like the closest thing, which is actually okay. Hey, we could use that. Or well, this. Oh, actually, we could use this one from Get Famous. That might go with the house more. Or we could go for like a really nice big glass wall at the back here to let lots of light in. Or even like a corner window. How pretty is that? And then we still have like the same facade of the house. A lot of heritage buildings in Australia you can do things like that with. Okay, and then that means upstairs there were just the two bedrooms, which were quite large. So you could still have maybe one here that is still massive, massive master bedroom. Maybe you could walk into like a walk-in wardrobe here. Then I don't know, have like an arch going into the bedroom from there. 
And then the other bedroom, which would be a bit smaller, could be on this side. And then these bedrooms can share a bathroom. Oh my gosh, you guys, this house has been, I think, the hardest floor plan I have done in a long time. But I think we've finally got a floor plan sorted out. And also the back obviously looks a little bit more modern as if it's heritage at the front, but the back of it you can change up a little bit. So it's being changed now so that this is a lounge room, this is a little study area, then we've got a quite a sizable kitchen, bathroom, dining area. Upstairs there are now three bedrooms, two of them which share a bathroom, and then the biggest one which has a walk-in wardrobe and a big ensuite and like plenty of space in there as well. Then there's access to the balconies from these two smaller bedrooms. Oh, okie dokie. So downstairs, I reckon we keep the current flooring that's there because it's just more realistic that the house has been renovated and we've already changed a lot. And I, I get the feeling that maybe Eliza is, she likes pretty things. So I don't think she wants to go like too ultra modern, but I think she's also happy to kind of meet in the middle with Bob in order to help their marriage, you know? And I think we could do like fun blue in the kitchen and maybe we focus on, I mean, we could do like purples in here. But the question is, would Bob feel comfortable in a room with lots of purple? I don't think he would like purple, but I reckon they both would like a soft, like muted green with maybe some purple accent chairs. Mm -hmm. Are we brave enough to mix some woods like light and mid wood together or light and dark wood? I feel like we can make it work. I actually really like this brown because it almost looks a little bit like it has purple in it. Like it's kind of a cool brown. I don't know if I'm imagining things. This rug could work, but I feel like it's a lot. Whereas this feels more soft and casual, which I like. Perhaps we go with this table instead. I shied away from mixing the wood tones. I got scared. The only thing with these big square coffee tables is I always struggle to know what to put on them because it seems like everything you can put on them is too small in the middle. And then once you start adding multiple things, it looks really strange. Or well, maybe we could put one of these in the middle with some books. Okay, that looks okay. You know what I think would be really good for Bob and Eliza pancakes? I think they should get a pet. It would either be a disaster or it would help bring them together. But it could be a good disaster because it could be like the cherry on top that just pushes them towards a divorce, which means they could move on with their life. You know, sometimes a disaster like that's a good thing. Otherwise, maybe they would never move on. We definitely need to get some tech in here as well, because I feel like Bob Pancakes, he loves his games. So he, he needs to have like his little gaming station and put it up here or maybe just next to the couch. I mean, the only thing with the pet thing is that if they broke up, someone would obviously have to be able to take the pet. Otherwise, that's just cruel. I'm also thinking that we should make this a feature wall. Now, you guys know what I'm thinking of doing. The classic. Can't go wrong with this. But have I done it too many times? I probably have. Could do something like that, but I just think that looks a bit dated. Maybe like an earthy wall. Oh, the brick wall's nice. That's another deli classic. Comment down below if you like the deli classics or if you're getting over the deli classics. I mean, the thing is with the classic is a classic never goes out of style. Like you can't go wrong. So you can repeat it in my opinion. Okay, I changed it to this to make it a little less deli classic. All right, so that's our gorgeous lounge room. Then we've got kind of a matching office in here. Uh, maybe that's a little much. Maybe we just change the curtains and the colors a little bit. There we go, keep it a little bit different. So that's that. All right, so kitchen in here. So this is a bit bright and a little bit fun. It's looking very parenthood-esque. What if we go for this kind of a counter look? I don't usually do dark kitchens, but I don't mind this one. And some people ask Deli, why don't you like dark kitchens? And I tell them, I just don't like them. They're just not for me. With peace and love, not into them. Oh, I just remembered we do have a budget we're working with. I mean, granted, it's a pretty big budget. Like, I don't think we have to be too careful. Oh, what happened with these swatches? Oh, no, I just picked the wrong one. You know, surprisingly, I quite like this kitchen. I know this is a little strange here when the wallpaper changes, but I couldn't really get a proper match. And if we go like this, 
I mean, I guess we can do that. I'm just not a huge fan of this wooden part on it. But I suppose it works. And then over here, we will do dining. I think we should do something pretty basic for the dining area, just like white. You can't go wrong with simple. And then the yellow ties it kind of into the warmer tiles. Base game light over it. Man, these curtains can be so... You know what? We're not using them. They can be so fiddly, those ones. Do blinds. Eliza is definitely the kind of sim who would want to have fresh flowers on the table. Don't you reckon? Okay, so it's looking quite colorful. Very nice. I've also done a little bit of outdoorsy things. I got rid of the old table because I felt like they have so much more room now. Why not have like a big long table? And also Eliza's into wellness. So she does have a wellness mat here. And then another upstairs. Ooh, master wardrobe. Do we want to go like full blown built in double wardrobe up here like this and then move the archway to the side? I mean, I reckon why not? Like why not have a super stunning wardrobe like that? We're actually in the process of trying to get quotes to do our wardrobes here, like to get them ripped apart, new flooring put in and then new shelves put in. And the logistics, if you're not going to just one person to do it all, it can actually be kind of complicated. Like I feel like we're going to be without a wardrobe for ages. I once had a friend whose parents, I think they bought her a $20,000 bed, her and her boyfriend. At least that's what she told me. And the reason why it cost so much was because each side of the bed was a different mattress that was like made for their comfort, which I've seen a lot around these days, but this was probably like 10 years ago. I don't know if it was as much of a thing back then, but I was like, whoa, now that's an expensive bed. I think we go for a floral arrangement on this bed. I never know what bedside tables to put with this bed. I need a rug with a little bit of green in it to kind of tie into the leaves in the bedspread, or we could go a very neutral rug. I think we're better off just going really neutral. And keeping in mind, this is mostly Eliza's room because they do sleep in separate rooms for now. Ooh, this is, these are frames from the new kit. They're really quite pretty. I'm not sure if they fit right here above the bed. We could put them on this wall. Do you ever think about if Sims are nice people? Like the characters in the game, do you ever think like, hmm, I wonder if they'd be very nice or they wouldn't be very nice. I think about that all the time. I know the elderberries are not nice and the blank grabs. They just, they just don't seem like very nice people. I mean, Sims. Beautiful, nice room. Let's just refine these lights a touch. All right, and then this is going to be a gorgeous bathroom. And I think we should definitely go pink because Eliza, is probably going to spend a lot of time in this bathroom and we know she's really into the pinks given her past bedroom was all pink. Having his and her sinks is literally the best thing ever. Like if you guys are ever considering that, go for it. Or his and his or her and her, whatever the situation is, go for it. It just makes life so good. I think because you can make it as messy as you like and you're not upsetting anyone, at least that's why I like it, because it's just your space. All right, pink bathroom. Okay, I've done a bit of a guest room over here. And then over here, this is gonna be Bob's room. Very blue, because he's a gloomy sim, and I feel like blue's quite gloomy. But we're gonna put orange in there as well to cheer him up. Who do you think is a real victim in this relationship? Do you think it's Bob or Eliza? See, I always thought it was Bob, but now I'm wondering. Maybe it's both of them. Maybe they're both not the best because she's materialistic. It's not necessarily bad to be materialistic, but if she puts heaps of pressure on Bob and she doesn't work she's, and she's not raising a family either, so she doesn't really do anything, but she still likes to spend heaps of money. So I feel like that's a problem if she's not willing to work for it. So maybe Eliza's just putting a lot of pressure on him and he's just unhappy. He's like, I've got to provide for Eliza, but it's just not working. It's too much. She's too demanding and she gets the, the biggest bedroom in the house. But then again, I want to stand up for the lady in the, rela the relationship because I don't want to villainize women because they're villainized too much. So guys, I just don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. This is the new rug from the new maximalist kit, if anyone was wondering. Although, you know, the storyline could be Eliza is focusing on wellness because she's 
been sick and hasn't been able to work. So maybe Eliza could be really nice. It all depends on your own storyline. We're not replacing his workout gear because I just don't think he uses it, you guys. I don't think he wants to. All right, so this was actually, in my time, such a long build. I hope you guys like it. I mean, I really love how it's turned out. I'm a much happier player with this house in my game. Like, the base game house was great when base game came out, but I think now that this has been updated, I prefer this version of it. Oh my gosh, and she just completed her milestone. I can't remember how many extra funds they had saved. I mean, I guess I just spent some of their savings on their house, so now the milestone's completed for her. Anyway, this is the house. It's a little bit more modern, but it's also still got some traditional charm. Doesn't have that enormous, dark, scary staircase when you walk in. It's, you know, a bit lighter, a bit brighter. I'd say more soft. Uh, in here we have the office, which you guys wouldn't have seen that I furnished, but this is quite neutral, quite basic. Kind of there to turn it into whatever you guys want. Bob's enjoying the TV as he usually does. <laughs> oh no, I have to delete those curtains. I didn't see those. This is our dining area and our kitchen. That's actually really sweet. I like the color in here. It's quite pretty. Eliza's already enjoying the new kimchi. Oh, she's got a real snobby walk. And we've got master bathroom in here. We've got a curtain on there. Does he like video gaming? I think he does. Oh, see, look, their marriage is already, it's already improving. Look how happy they look. <laughs> and then outside it is dark, but you know, nice entertainment area, patio, gorgeous view, by the way. What a place to live. This is some blue chip property right here. Upstairs, got a bookshelf here, nice landing. Go to Bob's uh, bedroom. Whoa, it's actually a pretty cool bedroom. I rate this bedroom. Then this is the bathroom that both of these bedrooms share, just through here, twin basin. And then through here, whoa, this is the guest room. This is definitely styled by Eliza. Then this is the front deck, cute. I don't know where I'm going though. Let's go back to the master suite, sorry, the main suite. So we've got wardrobes, Nice walk-in area. And then these gorgeous new big windows that have an amazing view. This is a nice master bed. I mean, main bed. God, it's really hard to break that habit. And then this is the main ensuite. That was a struggle. And there you go. That's the beautiful new and improved pancake house. So I will upload that to the gallery. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. Dak, dak. <laughs>